I came here to say things that I shouldn't That's say right. sometimes. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll always remember where we were when we found out that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez were back together because we were on the toilet because that's where we look at Instagram. It's been 17 years since Bennifer consciously uncoupled and we here at Love It or Leave It decided it's time to look at what famous romantic duos Mm. should make a society shattering Mm. comeback in part inspired by uh, viral tweet creator on this very topic. Famous. I've done it again. The man understands the deeper rhythms of the internet. For him, going viral is a way of life. He also <laughs> hosts Take Line and all caps NBA. Please welcome back returning champion Jason Concepcion. Jason, thank you for being Hello. here. It's wonderful to be here. Um, yeah, the, um, I've just I've gone viral again. Who knows how these things happen? Uh, I don't know. We are going to look at eight iconic former couples, and they will battle it out for a comeback in a segment we're calling The X Games. Woo! We're here today to talk about the greatest former celebrity couples of all time and which is the couple we wish could get back together the most. We have an Elite Eight, and we will share it with you in a moment. Before we get to that Elite Eight, Jason, who are some uh, couples that didn't make the cut that you think deserve a mention? Oh my gosh, um, Samantha Ronson and Lindsay Lohan. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. might only have been a couple weeks in real time, but that was a big couple weeks. That was a huge moment. I was pulling for those crazy kids. Um, Alexa, Alexa Chung and Alex Turner of the Arctic Monkeys. So Alexa Chung, former MTV VJ, Alex Turner, he wrote her, just look it up, he wrote her a besotted love letter early in their relish that is still inspiring millions today. It was devastating when they broke up. I love musician uh, uh, celebrity couples. So Fabrizio Moretti from the from the Strokes with uh, Kristen Wiig. That was, that was fantastic. I love that one. Um, what about you? Um, what do you I, got? Like, I think there's two classic celebrity couples that we obviously fail to include: O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown Simpson. Oh my God! So, how how could I'm you? So sorry, I, how it was could you honestly so that? hard to say. How could it was you do so it? Hard to say. How could you do it? How could you? How could you That's do wrong. it? I'm really sorry. <laughs> that was truly. How I, could I, you do as it? As I said it, as I, I'm sorry, I'm really. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, let me tell you what the path was. Here was the path. What I was yeah, actually okay. going to say is Courtney Love is disqualified because she killed Kurt Cobain. Okay. <laughs> and then I and then and I probably should have and I kind of realized mid opening mid entry because once you threw me the ball, I was like, I get to throw this one time. And right. I was like, and then all of a sudden I found myself going down this darker path and I couldn't turn around. Hmm. I couldn't get I back it. to where I had started. I couldn't get home. I just didn't know how to get yeah. home. Is what happened to me. Um, should, I guess, like, I'm sorry, I I'm, I'm, didn't just say Kristen Wiig and Robert Pattinson. <laughs> I wish that. <laughs> Get us back. Get us back. Get us back. I've ruined the segment, the show, potentially my career. Let's keep Kristen, moving. Kristen Wiig and Robert Pattinson. Who could forget about that? She yeah. famously cheated with the director of a movie that she was doing, and the, and the who was also married with children. That was brutal. Um, uh, Robert Listen. Pattinson and FKA Twigs. Whoa, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a I good love one. That one too. I Robert did. Pattinson. I was pulling for them. What an appeal he, he has. He's a talented young man. Here are the couples we have on the celebrity couple bracket in the X Game: Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. We have Ellen DeGeneres Ugh. and Anne Heche. We have Jamie <laughs> Foxx and Katie Holmes. Judy Garland and Vincent Minnelli, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. That's an oldie but a goodie. I guess celeb is sure. I mean, they were celebrities for by what for sure. by what standard are they not huge fucking celebrities? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, sure. Tell I me, think that they. Uh, all right. It's it's the year 35 BC. They're coming out of uh, Craig's. Equivalent in Cairo, <laughs> right? And there's it no been pictures. Alexand- it would it would have it would have been Alexandria at that time, but yes, okay. 
You're right. This I think that, uh, well, I, I, <laughs> my, my one slight mm-hmm. pushback would be that a true celeb is uh, on some level famous for being famous or famous as a result of some kind of very entertaining thing that they do, mm-hmm. whereas Cleopatra was, you know, the uh, head of state of the Egyptian client kingdom uh, to Rome, and then Mark Antony was like whatever the fuck he was at that particular time, like the the fucking governor of how Egypt do you, or something. This guy, how do you? I don't know. I, let's go. We'll read the Wikipedia. Well, he had split the empire with Augustus and then was like, I'm going to Egypt because that's where all the grain is, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. And then they had a, and then Augustus, after a while, was like, this can't stand and we're going to kill you. Um, but I think, but that's fine. We'll let it go. Certainly, they're, they are, they're celebs now. Yeah. And they have a love that has lasted uh, for thousands of years. Famously. Yes. I mean, I think, I think that if you're, here's the thing I would say. I will concede you're right. In some sense, they were more kind of politicians right? Uh, with mixed records at best, if we're being honest. <laughs> Very mixed. <laughs> but in the right. same way, in the same way that once once Woodward and Bernstein became the, the, the leads played by Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford, they became right. celebrities in perpetuity. Once William Shakespeare puts you as the protagonist, you're famous. You're just a fucking... Big time celeb. It didn't matter what they did after that. You know what I mean? Like that's cool. You know, I like like Zuckerberg yeah, and the Social you're right. Network. You're right. Like Zuckerberg you're right. and the Social Network. You know, you're right. Because obviously, right. I personally view Aaron Sorkin as the Shakespeare of now. Couple of things okay. you need to know about me. Couple of things you need to know about <laughs> okay. me. I think yeah. Aaron Shorkin is our Shakespeare, and I think the Shakespeare Simone Biles is a quitter. Those are the two things that you oh need to God. know. Oh my wow. God. Wow. <laughs> incredible. T- I don't. Incredible oh napalm <laughs> takes being dropped on this am I piece of sick- content today. <laughs> am I just sick of my life? What else do I want? <laughs> what, what am I trying to do? I don't mean it. Oh I'm obviously God. kidding. Back to our segment. We got to keep moving. Lisa Binet and Lenny Kravitz. Versus Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra, Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling versus El- versus Ellen DeGeneres and Anne Heche. Who would we rather see back together? Reminder: Rachel and Ryan they met while starring in 2004's The Notebook. Ellen and Anne met at the 1997 Vanity Fair Oscar party. Uh, Anne Heche was on Dancing with the Stars in 2020, and Heche says that 20th Century Fox effectively fired her after she brought Ellen to the premiere of the 1997 film Volcano. It wasn't homophobic. They just really regretted greenlighting Volcano. (laughs) I have to say, for me, it's not hard. I'll just be honest. I think this is an easy Oh, oh, this is chalk. Absolutely chalk. Because... Well, let's hear where you... I'm I'm fascinated to see where you'll go because you have... You've dropped some real wild ones today, so I guess, like, it's hard to figure (laughs) out where you're coming from. Yeah, that's... (laughs) (laughs) Look, I think... Here's my view. Would I... Look... Would I love there's I see why it would be romantic to see Rachel and Ryan back together, oh, but God, purely okay. for the fun of it, especially because sure. it, because it ended up, I, I believe, that. with Anne Heche chasing cars on a freeway and making six days, seven nights with Harrison Ford. We got to get that Ellen and Saw it in the theater. energy back together. Six days, seven nights. That's how six long it felt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So you're going a, a degenerous hash. Yeah, I want to see that. I want that. That that was lightning in a bottle. That that to me. I can I, look two I, okay, beautiful listen. movie stars dating. Whatever. I believe Hash was recently quoted as saying that Ellen didn't like it when she dressed quote sexy. I don't want that for her to continue. I agree with you though that it would to quote a, a terrible person on Twitter. It it's great content but terrible for our country if they get back together. Um, yes. I, I have to go McAdams and Gosling. I think they have a love that it, that uh, continues to inspire their kiss at the 2000 whatever it was MTV uh, movie awards. How dare they do that and then break up? Okay, that's all you know I'm what? saying. Now they are both they are both in committed relationships now, and I wish them the best. But I, if they got back together, I would not. Uh, I would not be sad. All right, you know what? You have persuaded me. I've obviously going for. I'm going for laughs, but you're going for love. Love, you know, as I as I laughs. learned as I learned from 
from um, uh, yard signs that's next to things like I believe in science. I know I do know that love wins. Uh, that's just something really important to a lot of people that love wins. Would like a phrase to. of real meaning. Uh, yeah. Love wins. Uh, in this house, love wins. Uh, love wins. So Ryan, at Ryan Gosling, Rachel McAdams move on to the final four. Next up, Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes versus wow. Judy Garland and Vincent Minnelli. <laughs> Uh, one demerit on the Judy and Vincent side, he was very clearly gay, <laughs> um, which <Yeah>. obviously <laughs> posed challenges to their to their relationship uh, at the same. And, and, uh, and but on the other hand, um, come on. Liza Minnelli. Pretty, pretty cool. cool. A classic couple. One of the all time greats. Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes. I remember when that emerged. It was like a what? Really? It was almost like you needed I needed the pap photos because I didn't. I was like, how did they meet? This is so, this is so crazy and awesome. And um, lasted, lasted. By the way, this wasn't a flash in the pan. No, this they went was for a, a slow while. roast. They went for a while. The ju- they were soaking in the juices. Um, I'm gonna say, and this is not this is not a measure of of my feelings for Jamie Fox and Kenny Holmes, but I'm gonna say Garland and Minnelli. Wow. Um, hopefully it'll be the kind of relationship in which both people can feel that they can be who they are. I don't know what yes. that means for them, but whatever that is feels true to them, I hope that that manifests itself. A- and the only reason is because Fox and Holmes, while it was super cool, they didn't give us a lot. They were very private. We didn't get was, a lot of it. You know what? Sometimes two celebrities do not form a celebrity couple. They're just a couple. And they're not interested. They're not interested in being a part of our story. And honestly, because of that, we're going to respect them and not try to be a part of theirs. You know, that's right. So we're going to move about respect. Judy Garland and Vincent Minnelli, obviously a relationship with many um, uh, (laughs) positive and negative consequences for them as individuals and their progeny. Uh, Next up, we've got Kim Kardashian and Kanye West uh, versus. The OG, <laughs> the, the OG. Kim, the Kim and Kanye of mess of uh, of the of of ancient Egypt yeah. and Greece, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony, Marcus Antonius. Both couples, obviously, very uh, involved in politics, um, famously to to various degrees of success. Mm-hmm. Both um, uh, both uh, um, dealt with a uh, Caesar like figure. Uh, yes, in some sense, um, uh, Kim Kardashian's people hail from lands which, at that time, were ruled by the Roman Empire. So there's a lot of point. there's a lot of correlation there. I'd love to hear what you think first. Where where where's your head at? So I think this is a te- this is a this is a bracket that I would describe as uh, a question about impossible love, right? <laughs> about right. About couples that seem as though they cannot be and yet somehow persist, yeah. despite the wreckage and ruin <laughs> that happens all around them. Like, right. I remember when I first heard that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were a couple, and I, my thought was like, that is fake. That is a fake really? thing. That can, I mean, not that they aren't really a couple, but that they are doing it as some kind of a a uh, performative version right. of press garnering attention seeking brand right. building right. courtship for our eyes and no one else is right. not even their own but that right. is not true because right. they've built a family and it's actually a very serious and sad situation that the reality of their actual lives is not a tabloid story it's a personal and actually quite sad story at this point you know? I had a similar but different reaction about Kardashian West. I thought, oh, that makes sense. That tracks. That feels like that's been coming for a while. But I agreed at the time. I did agree with you. I did feel like, you know, much like uh, Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello. Uh, you you thought is, that it was this a is, true love. This is for the cameras. Right. This is for the cameras you know, on some level. Um, this is a, a creation to like create buzz for whatever, but I can't, I don't know. 
in good conscience, I can't put them back together. I think Kanye is going through it right now. Yep, yep. yep. Whatever it is, I hope that he's getting help for it. Uh, he is currently living in the Atlanta Falcons stadium. Which is very chill and cool. To, in order to record his record, uh, a friend of mine tweeted, men will literally live in the Atlanta Falcons stadium instead of going to therapy, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which I think is a... Uh, is literally what is happening. And so I'm going to pick the murder-suicide couple that you did include in the bracket, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. That is my vote for this bracket. Um, Again, a a classic couple that uh, inspires us throughout the ages, and they've just got a lot of brand recognition. You want to talk about a brand? How about a brand that has existed for 2,000 years? Cleopatra uh, totally Martini. agree. And also, on um, one piece of this, not often uh, given the attention it deserves, it was a lot about how hot they were. Uh, and that was an important part of it, too. These were hot people having a hot time. I always wonder about, like, hot in the ancient times. Because wouldn't that just mean, like, you have two of your teeth? That's what I was <laughs> you know, about like... to say. Like, full <laughs> smile, vaguely right. symmetrical. No, <laughs> like, no injury caused a permanent... Um, a permanent <laughs> facial issue <laughs> right. that today we'd resolve with like, you know, a quick, a, a, a week of tetracycline. Right. And back then it was like, this is my whole life. This is my, my whole life is based on this thing that you kill with tetracycline. Yeah. They would just bleed you for like three days and that would take out the illness. And I guess my one other, one other, you know, shout out to getting killed by a snake um, as uh, whether it's true or not, whether it's true or it's not. It's pretty fucking cool. That's yeah, like a how'd story. you die? How'd you Snoop. die? I had a stroke. An asp. Snooze alert. <laughs> I got bit um, by a fucking asp in a pyramid. <laughs> man, this is uh, shaping up to be a fantastic final four. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but but before we get, we have one more round to get us there. We have Lisa Binet and Lenny Kravitz Woo. versus Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra. Lisa Binet, uh, now of course married to Jason Momoa. Um, so kind of tough couple to break up. Honestly, very scary. Uh, to invite the rest uh, of ben- Momoa. In terms of hotness, Benet is like, has anyone ever crushed it like Benet? Benet uh, is 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 batting a fucking thousand right now. Yeah. Yeah. I It just, you, like, what a cool person. Be like, I'm going to end things with, with Lenny Kravitz, but it probably means my next relationship is not going to be necessarily as never mind. I found right. someone... Uh, uh, yeah. No pun intended. Pretty splashy. Ah. Because he's Aquaman. That's right. Because he's Aquaman. Obviously based on the IP uh, entourage. That's right. This is an easy one for me. Yeah, this is obviously. Dead because easy. Let's just let's. I mean, <laughs> this. They're me so hot. The, yeah, it's but, like, can we just watch them? They're they're two extremely hot people, and their child. Uh, who they created with that enhanced, super hot, super talented DNA is Zoe Kravitz, who by any measure is extremely beautiful and talented as well. Uh, I would bathe in their bath water. Lisa Binet and Lenny Kravitz. Let's um, let's get it back together. Sorry, let's that's incorrect. Going. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. I just I just what? checked. The, I checked with the judges. Going into the final four, we have. Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. We have Judy Garland and Vincent Minnelli. We have Cleopatra and Mark Antony. We have Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra. First up, Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling versus Judy Garland and Vincent Minnelli. What couple do you want to see back together, Jason? Uh, McAdams and Gosling, they are uh, name-checked in Lazy Sunday, which is a piece of viral content that then kicked off the YouTube era. Mm -hmm. Phenomenally important. Very talented, McAdams and Gosling. Listen, Garland and Minnelli, no shots. Uh, the the bad and the beautiful is, I think, the best Hollywood movie about Hollywood. Mm-hmm, 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 and mm-hmm. Uh, Judy Garland, of you know, who, like The Wizard of Oz, love it. That said, McAdams and Gosling. That is so my final answer. Judy and Vincent will meet you in St. Louis. Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling will meet you at the finals. That's right. Facing off to get into the finals, we have Cleopatra and Mark Anthony versus Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra. Obviously an upset. I, I think we just, who doesn't want to see Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra out there on the red fucking carpet? Just Dennis, Ro- Dennis Rodman, by the way, 
Uh, obviously, yes, to Jason's point, um, mm. I don't love his North Korean politics. Uh, sure. But I but I do love his uh, gender defying wardrobe politics in many ways mm -hmm. ahead of his time ahead yeah. of his time. We are at the finals and okay. here it is for the celebrity couple. Jason and I would like to see back together in the spirit of Benefer, bringing back that energy that we all loved when we saw them together the first time. It is. I would say this is a this is a. Devil on your shoulder, angel on your shoulder moment. Do you want to see Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra? And, or do you want to see Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling? What does your heart want? Wow. Does it, is it, is it, is it, are you chaotic evil or are you lawful good? Is basically the choice before you, Jason. There's too much chaotic evil in this world right now. We mm -hmm. need lawful good. We need that. We need that pick me up. We need that sunshine. Uh, with all apologies to uh, McAdams and Gosling's current partners, I would like to see them back together, and I would like them to win this tournament of beloved champions. Let me just consult with the judges. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're going to give it to them. We're going to give it to them. You're right. Will you announce it like, uh, like uh, Don on the airplane announcing that the SEALs got Bin Laden on the newsroom? Yeah, because obviously that's uh, one of the best scenes ever written. So, yeah, I will do it like that. I'll because that's that's listen, if we know one thing about the world right now, the issue is that there aren't enough uh, news people getting right. in people telling people the news. And if we just had more. News that's people true. Doing it. Um, no, here's what I would like to do. Let's we should. Yes. Yeah. I, let's give it to them. You know what? We're going to give it to them. Maybe. Add, listen, let's add some um, uh, library free notebook adjacent music oh, plus yes. some rain for Ryan Gosling rain. and Rachel McAdams, the celebrity couple we'd love to see back together in our fantasy with no consequences for their current relation. This isn't, we're not trying to actually break anybody up. That's not what we're doing no, here. We're not that's not what we're doing here. That's, not what, bit, we're, that's not what we're doing here. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, but not what, that's not what we're doing. Here. That's not why we came here. Right. I came here. I came here to say things that I shouldn't That's say right. sometimes. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jason Concepcion, the greatest returning champion. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody, go subscribe to Take Line. Go subscribe to All Caps NBA. Follow him on Twitter, where every day he every day he breaks the internet. Frankly, <laughs> oh <my laughs> thank God. you. Hard to say. Hard yeah, to no. say. That's the fifth hard thing I've had, I've said today. <laughs> the hard truth. <laughs> I mean, you. The hard you came truth. Out, you came out hot. And then it's just been heat ever since.